Okay. We are now joined by our medical expert, Dr. Piacoli. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we get started, we wanted to hear your thoughts as a doctor, as an aunt, as a citizen. What are you feeling after listening to everything that we just said? You know, Sam, I mean, I see your tears, and these are the tears of the medical profession, because the American Medical Association sounded the alarm on this in 2016. They declared it a public health crisis. We just lived through the COVID-19 pandemic, and this is a larger epidemic than our country has ever faced, and, it, and it's growing exponentially. You know how we talked about social distancing and contagion? This is social contagion. So we see somebody else shooting up something, we feel inspired to do it. So we're seeing an exponential growth of these shootings occurring. And the problem is, as physicians, I have never felt more incapable and more helpless mm. because I spend an inordinate amount of time in science trying to save a single life. And yet day after day goes by where I wake up and I hear about a school shooting and I think about my nephew and I think about all the kids who will never grow up. I think about all the parents who will never be the same. I think about the other kids and how we have data that tells us that their GPA drops after yes. a school shooting. We have data that tells us they're less likely to graduate high school, college, or go to graduate school if they've witnessed a school shooting, whether directly or indirectly. So think about what's going to happen to the next generation, to our kids, to their kids, if this keeps happening. Wow. Yeah, and is... I just really want to give you and the healthcare professionals credit because you're the ones that are having to work on those bodies yeah, of yeah. children. That's that traumatizing too. You can't even imagine. Yeah. Or anybody that's a victim of gun violence. Uh, you know, a friend of mine is a pediatrician. He took care of somebody after Sandy Hook and he talked about the, the Cinderella that was covered in blood or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, you know, which had a bullet hole going through it. And it just, that's not something even as physicians we can You're really ready, bounce right. back from. You, sh you shouldn't be able to and you shouldn't have to deal with it. Um, we are going to move on to some good news because this is really important and this is going to impact so many of us. So cancer researchers are now testing a holy grail which can predict tumors one year before they happen, all from a single blood test. How does this happen and how will this change all of our lives? It's really cool. I mean, if you think about how we diagnose cancer now, we wait for billions of cells to turn into a tumor mm. before we can pick it up. So this is saying when there's a stem cell, which is a cell that can become anything, that has a marker on it that tells us that it's going to go on to become a cancer cell, what if we pick it up at that stage, meaning way, way, way early, before it's ever become a cancer cell and become a tumor, and you could essentially eradicate cancer if you can do this on a population level and, and screen people. But I have to ask you, can I just jump in here? Theranos, famously, Elizabeth Holmes wanted to do that. Is that what th she wanted to be able, be able to do with a, a blood drop so we could see much more? Yes. And so we have to get smarter about using blood, looking at the proteins, looking at the markers to really predict the future. And I'm really excited that medicine is headed this way where we can see something yeah. before it happens. But we have to take it with a tiny grain of salt because it's like that movie Minority Report where you stop the crime before it's happened. Well, what if that crime never actually did happen? Is that person still a criminal? So in the same way, we don't want to treat people for cancer if that cell never did become cancer. Mm. So we still need a little more information, but this is super this exciting. This is mind blowing. Wow. And remember Biden had the cancer shot. He wants to solve it and cure it within the, the cancer moon shot. That's, That's exactly right. Wow. right. Yeah. So this Incredible. is big. I'm big so news. happy to hear that. We needed to hear that bit of good news. Thank you so much, Dr. Coley. Thank you for being here, answering all of our questions. DBL Nation, Dr. Coley has a new podcast. Make sure you check out The Heart of Medicine with Dr. Pyle Coley wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be right back. Thank you, Dr. Thank Coley. Thank you.